Well, hi there. Once again, you're back here with old Barry. I want to share a excellent video I found. Actually, it was sent to me, and I've actually subscribed to the channel myself. Uh, it's a site. It's a YouTube channel called Johnny Bigger, and uh, he's been around for quite a while, and he's got uh, over 7.7 .7 million views. However, that that's not what impressed me. What impressed me was, in particular, uh, I've seen a few more, but in particular, this video that was sent to me and I think this this person just nails it bang on I want you to watch this and I'm going to catch up with you on uh, some brief points okay about how better understanding and um, how old Barry comes across okay and some of the things I say because this this person nails it spot on enjoy this and as he says as well Johnny Bigger share this with the people as you possibly can. I encourage all of our getting near 20,000 subscribers to be on to this channel because uh, some of what I've seen is your gold. Okay, we'll catch you on the other side. It seems the most logical thing in the world to believe that the natural resources of the earth upon which the race depends for food, clothing and shelter should be owned collectively by the race instead of being the private property of a few social parasites. Everything we think we know, everything that's been taught to us by this system, the science we've been presented with, the education we've been given, the history we've been given, and quite literally everything we've been told by this system is a lie. All of it. And the depths of this lie is quite literally so profound and so all-pervasive that it's almost impossible for most people to even see because it is quite literally so big that it covers virtually every single aspect of our lives. Virtually everything we've been told about everything is a lie. All of it. And that's why it's so difficult to ever really discover the truth and to wake up the people around us because all of the information that we're even researching, most of it, has been falsified. That is why people are constantly locked into different belief systems, why they continue to argue with each other, and why they continue to perpetuate their divide and conquer programming. Because in everything that they're looking at and all the information that they've got, they never even factor in the reality that in any investigation into the past, which is invariably where we look to find out what happened and what brought us to this point, most of the information that we glean from old books about historical figures has been doctored, rearranged and rewritten, and in some cases it's actually even doubtful that many of these people even actually existed. In many cases, works were attributed to people who didn't do those works, in many cases, discoveries were most likely attributed to people who never made those discoveries. Many events were simply fabricated and many people simply did not do what we were told they did. Many of them, it's doubtful that they ever even existed. Or if they did exist, it very often was not when we were told they existed and very often the information they presented was doctored to fit the current version of reality. Though very often, no doubt, there were little gems left in there just to keep the people guessing and just to keep the people fighting and arguing and squabbling and looking for the deeper meaning without ever really stepping back and looking at reality as a whole. The thing is, people really do need to understand clearly that this is our starting point. This is what we've got to work with. The fact that everything we've been told is a lie and we cannot rely on any of the information that we get from any books anywhere. You know, the true reality is, and has always been, that all we can really rely on 100% is that which we go out and experience in the world for ourselves. And that's a very difficult thing for people to come to terms with. However, if one goes out and travels the world and really looks at things open-mindedly, the evidence that everything we've been told is a lie is everywhere and it speaks for itself. And if you really look at it, one of our biggest problems, one of the things that holds us back more than anything else, comes with our blind acceptance of things. Our blind acceptance of what we're 
given as facts by the academic system, things that we're told and we just take as a matter of course and just take them on as part of everyday life without ever really investigating them. And we do this on so many levels, it's actually quite profound when you step back and look at it. Everyday things we just take as a given and don't ask questions about. And then many people tend to do this when they're researching as well. They just blindly accept what they find online. They find something that reinforces their belief system and they blindly accept it and they move on from that point because that's what belief systems do. As soon as you adopt a belief system, you look for stuff that reinforces that belief system and you disregard everything else. You just close yourself off to all possibilities. That's what is so dangerous about adopting belief systems halfway through this journey of life. Because it's a wondrous world, folks, and it's an amazing world, and it is nothing like what we're told it is, and we are nothing like what we are told we are. The question is, what are we? And what is this world? Where do we come from? How do we get here? And where are we going? And the answer to all of these questions is what we're all searching for at the moment, because we've been led so far from our true path. And the biggest danger in trying to find a way out of this mess is in adopting belief systems along the way and closing yourself off to the myriad of possibilities that are still out there. We've got to put our egos aside and allow everyone to just believe what they want to believe for now and understand that we've been manipulated and controlled and trained to argue with each other about our differences and the fact of the matter is that nobody really knows what's going on because none of the information we've got to base any of our understandings on is reliable anyway. And what we need to do is focus on stopping this system in its tracks right now and giving ourselves a chance to regroup to find out what the truth is. And this is not going to happen unless we can put our differences down, stop trolling each other, stop attacking each other, stop spreading distrust and division with each other, stop identifying everything else with our belief system and attacking everybody who doesn't think like we do. Put it all down, stop fighting, and pull ourselves away from this psychopathic, parasitic system which is currently controlling the direction that we're going. Now, this whole system exists because we hold it up, folks, and that is the solution. Pull your energy away from this system and do it in every way you can, in every way, shape, and form that you can find, and everyone should make it a point in their lives to do this. You've got to disconnect from the system because we are the ones who hold it up, and that is the only solution to escaping from it. Each person out there has to individually remove the support and remove the energy they give to the system. We're the only ones who can do it, folks, and we have to pay attention, take responsibility for ourselves, and really make a stand. Now, the focus should be on stopping this system in its tracks right now and stopping it progressing any further forward so that we've got a chance to regroup and find out what the real truths are. And that's only going to happen if we put down all of our differences. And again, that's why people just have to stop trolling people who think differently and trying to impose their belief systems on them. And that's the simple truth. And so many people, including myself, have had to waste so much time defending ourselves that it's just become an absolute joke. And it's got to the point where you can't even be open-minded in either direction without being attacked by either side. And that's exactly why it's been constructed to be run the way it is being run. You know, the solution to this problem is stepping away from the system. So many people also troll me because they say, Max, you're always telling us the problems, but you never provide any solutions because they want some form to fill out. They want someone to go and vote for. They want some movement to go and join. They don't understand that they are the ones who hold the system up by giving it their energy. And we don't even need a violent revolution. Just stop supporting the system. That is the only solution. The solution is for you to remember who and what you are and to pull your support away from the system and to give your support to the people around you. The people around you are your biggest asset. The solution is you. And all you have to do is look within and remember yourself. As soon as you see that, as soon as you see that beauty and that power in yourself, the entire control grid around you becomes fiction. And that's it. Now, we can all do this, folks. We don't even need a violent revolution. We can all pull away from it now. And that is the truth, folks, because if you deny this system, the system will cease to exist. It only exists because you acknowledge its existence when, in fact, it is a fiction. You don't need it. What you need is yourself and the people around you. And that is the solution. The solution is in everybody's hearts. They just have to be prepared to put it into action. The solution is in yourself. Because all the problems only exist because you comply with this system. 
You comply with what is essentially a protection racket being run by an international criminal class of racketeers who do not belong in the position that they are in. And if we deny them our energy, they cannot exist. It's really as simple as that. Divide and conquer is the motto. And all of the division has to stop. All of the division, the trolling online has to stop. All of the political division, all of the racial division, it all has to stop. And really when you look at this system, folks, when you look at how it's all been played and how everybody has been played against each other, we've all been played. But those people out there who believe that it's Western culture that has done this, it's the white races that have come and decimated all the other cultures, you're being played. It hasn't been the white races that have done it at all. So it's time for the trolls to wake up to themselves. It really is. That is the only solution. But they don't want you to have that solution. They want you to keep on the roller coaster ride, keep reading the spy novel version of reality, keep thinking the boogeyman is coming to get you. There's nothing you can do about it, and you have to let it all turn to hell because then you're going to be saved, and the whole thing is a scam. We can save ourselves right now. All we have to do is choose to do it. And that's not being a fisher of men. That's just speaking the truth. Well, welcome back. Uh, if that's not one of the best produced videos I have seen to date, I, I don't know what is. And I, I'm not going to take much of your time, but I want to look down at some notes I made here. And uh, this comes from a gentleman named Johnny Bigger, and I'm encouraging all of our subscribers to head on out that way and um, subscribe to that website uh it's been around for many years and it does have over 7.7 .7 million views but you know that's not what impressed me what impressed me was the caliber of understanding and the quality of information on not only that video but i've already briefed three or four of his other videos and uh they're nothing short of stellar, but this one particular video that I'm sharing with all our subscribers describes exactly, and he bullseyes the problem, the one problem that's stemming all the rest of these problems, perhaps better than anybody I've ever seen, including some of the great uh, YouTubers. It's just absolutely magnificent information. When I describe things and I come across to many of our subscribers as laid back and relaxed about what's going on, it's because I am. Um, I want to tell you perhaps one more time. The most difficult thing I have ever done in my life was admitting all the things I thought I knew that I was wrong in those areas. A lot of things on how I was raised, everything from belief systems to how I personally looked at the world. It's very difficult for an adult to look in the mirror and several times look at yourself and say, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. So, going back to why I've said in several past videos, learning is not the hard part as an adult. It's unlearning that creates the most difficulty. Another thing that Johnny Bigger describes so eloquently is what I've always termed as one of the universal laws, meaning separation creates clarity. Now, I'm sure our subscribers to varying degrees, because they're an enlightened group, if they weren't, they wouldn't really subscribe to the things I have to say and the things I'm trying to get out to humanity to better it. And uh, one last time again, I'm going to, you want to see the print of your index finger 
No separation, you cannot, cannot see it. If you bring it out and there is separation, clarity must follow. Okay, that's as, that's as simply as I could put it. Um, everybody should understand that. It works in life in terms of difference of opinion, in terms of argument, in terms of understanding right from wrong. In almost everything, it will help you understanding that universal law. It is really the only way we're going to move in a positive direction is if we learn how to take our differences and put them aside, our petty little differences. Um, you know, I've always said uh, another saying, and none of this matters if you're a corpse. And unfortunately, the information that the mentors have come up with is this system and humanity will have to crash. The question we're all actually wrestling with is to what degree must it crash? And that's completely up to us. By our perpetrators understanding their method of madness, and I, I, I know we don't understand ours, has kept over 7 billion people prisoners under a handful of families. Just as Johnny Bigger says in the beginning of his YouTube about one of the most senseless things is the natural resources of this planet. We all own it. We're all human beings, but yet it's controlled by a handful of people. Well, so is the media. So is so many other things, our financial systems. In particular, the media is exactly why we're finding ourselves where we are right now. And I do hope journalists and people who are shadow banning and people who are determining what you as an individual have a right to see and treating you like a child and leading you in certain directions, I hope it all comes to justice one day. But in the meantime, if you understand truth, it does alleviate fear and it does allow you to make better decisions in terms of yourself and your family and not relying on making decisions under fear. It's one of the biggest little tricks to raising the quality of life you're currently experiencing regardless of where you're watching me from. Um, it's sad to say, uh, and even a lot of our personal friends, of course I wouldn't know this on the subscribers because you only know me through uh, you know electronic means, but I'm going to say on our personal friends, and a lot of them who we distance ourselves from now, but as sad as this is to say, and I'm sure most of you could relate to what I'm saying, many people we know will put more emphasis and more information and more investment in research into the next laptop they want to purchase than they will for understanding what's going on and why the world is progressing in the negative direction it's tending to progress. And that would hold true whether it's an automobile, whether it's a fridge, whether it's anything. I, I, I'm laughing because it's so ludicrous, but they'll put more research into that than they will as to what's going on around this planet. And when they find out what's going on around this planet, one, it's going to be too late, but they're basing where we are currently off of what they're getting off of either a public media or a public website. I've often said time is a precious commodity, but make no mistake, it is a commodity. You invest it, you spend it, you save it like any other commodity out there. It's just so sad. It's one that's not replaceable, and yet that's one most people spend so foolishly. Anyway, that's, uh, that's why we are where we are. Uh, I can't agree more again another part of the video about where Johnny's saying... The real way to experience what he's trying to get across in this video is if you have traveled the world. And I can honestly say I've done a pretty good job of that. Uh, I'm pretty happy where I am now with my family.
Traveling right now is so ridiculously difficult and confined. I have no interest in doing it. Um, I'm really content uh, where we placed our feet on the ground. However, as a younger person and as an underwater photographer, uh, this is coming from someone that used to have to request another passport, a 30 page passport, because I was running out of stamp room after about two to two and a half years. So I've been in over a hundred countries. Most of my subscribers know that, and I've actually lived in six different countries. And I can tell you, he is again, he bullseyes it right in the middle of, of the charts in terms of it's the only way you're going to understand. Over decades of travel, I can honestly say I've been through most parts of the Mideast. I've been all through Australia. I've been all through Papua New Guinea, Iron Gyro, which very few people have, you have to sneak in there. Uh, the Marshall Islands, Micronesia, I mean, Phnom Penh. Uh, you want to name it, chances are I've been close to it or at it. And I want to tell you something, the vast majority of the families and the people I have met are so similar to you and me. And I see so many people, particularly from America, after they've toured with me, uh, making the same or similar kind of comment. Because the, what, what they've been told about radical Islam, what they've been told about what's going on in the world, largely is because 95% of people only go to a public media for their news or a public website website for their information. I wonder why they're so misinformed. I won't say uninformed, that's the wrong word. Misinformed, and that's far more dangerous than being uninformed. I think we all can agree with the direction the world's taking right now. How much more dangerous it is to be misinformed than uninformed. If you're uninformed, you just do not know. Okay, clueless, you can't base any one way or another. If you are misinformed, make sure you understand this. There's a method to their madness. I'm questioning if there really is one to ours because we're falling victim to this at, alarming, at an alarming pace. Hey, I want to move on quickly here because I, I don't have much time to do this. And I, I really agree with him uh, about it truly is the only way to gather wisdom. Remember, there's information, there's intelligence, and there's wisdom or knowledge, intelligence, and wisdom. Knowledge you can get from an iPhone, just pushing a few buttons. Intelligence is how you put it in a chronological order to better suit yourself so your plan works. Wisdom is only gained by hands-on experience, okay? So it's the only way you're going to learn something is by doing it. It is one of the aspects of being human. It is one of the aspects of only being limited to five senses. Okay. Another thing he brings up is uh, what I've been saying, probably my number one point. The only way we're going to defeat this foe and get back to a life that is a joyous one, and that is going to be by putting our differences aside. And there are so many differences by design, whether it's belief systems, political systems, geographic locations, sexual preference. I can go on and on, but you know where I'm going with this. Until we learn to put them aside, and I do think that's one of the flaws in our DNA that they call junk DNA, it hasn't been turned on. So this is why we keep repeating the same, even though the rules are so simple, we keep repeating the same mistakes over countless millennium as far back as, I would say, the Anunnaki and the Sumerian culture, which is over 6,000 years ago. You'll see the same mistakes keep popping up. All right. Um, I love that saying, stop trolling each other. Um, you know what? Old Barry's been making his life on the sea for most of it. And uh, I used to do a fair bit of trolling, okay? But the kind of trolling I used to do was for snag and fish. Stop being somebody else's fish. Stop swallowing the hook because you're under their control. The one who's at the rod and reel has the control when you swallow the hook, okay? Keep that in the back of your mind because as uh, Johnny puts it way better than I'm capable of, we got to stop 
trolling ourselves. I believe I'm quoting him word for word. And again, another pointy bullseyes. If we do not find a way of putting our differences aside, there are certain things that are subjective and there are certain things that are collective. Freedom is one of those things, unfortunately, as human beings, is collective. Okay, If we're not all free, in essence, nobody's free because we are connected. Um, I realize, like I've used the analogy, the world is a big picture, but you may live in a pixel. But all the pixels are connected to form the entire picture. Please try to remember that. It's the only way we're going to eventually come out of this with any sort of Eden. And that is by putting our personal differences aside. Stop judging. Uh, I want to close off, I guess, by one little analogy. There's an old fable here. It's called the fable. My grandfather used to tell it to me. And I was one of... Uh, my grandfather was a teacher in terms of spirituality. And I remember sitting on his knee many evenings on a, on a weekend night when the family was all together. And he told me a tale once of the tale of the two wolves. These two big wolves are constantly at fighting with each other to determine how your life will progress. One wolf is a dark wolf with fear, anxiety, control, and the other wolf is a wolf that's, shall we say, what we know now as the lighter side um, of peace, of enlightenment, of forgiving, of wellness. And these two wolves are always fighting each other, kill one another throughout a person's life. And the final Without dragging on the fable, the final question is, the teacher asks the student, which wolf wins the fight? And he asks the student to think about it and come back in a day or two with his answer, with their answer. And it's a very difficult one. A lot of people who are happier in nature and a more positive outlook would say the light wolf one. Ones who look at things from the dark side and always what isn't instead of what is, what I don't have instead of what I do have, they choose the dark side wolf. The dark wolf wins the fight because, you see, that's how they're thinking. And that's exactly the point. The correct answer is the one wolf that will win is the one wolf that you feed. And that's something that is subjective, each individual. But the results are collective because it will affect us all the same way. So which wolf do you feed? Do you feed the one of enhanced intelligence, enlightenment, or do you keep spreading the negative propaganda and helping the people, the handful that are controlling humanity at this point? Now, I'm not asking the question, do you mean well? That is not what I'm asking. You do. And I know my subscribers to various degrees, all of you are enlightened or you wouldn't even be listening to a guy like me. But the deeper question I'm asking is, which wolf are you feeding? Think about it. Till next time, it's old Barry and DR. Get this video out to as many people and I encourage all of our near 20,000 subscribers to hit this man's subscribe button. You won't be sorry. Till next time.